guys could see we got nailed by snow. I would say probably a solid eight inches to a foot. I want to give a huge thanks to all the interaction in the last video. I want to say thanks to everybody who put their input in and I'm going to be using your advice to check two things today. So we're going to be heading over to my grandfather's shop within the next hour here. Hopefully I don't rip my... No, I should be fine. Let's see if this thing starts. Frosty valve cover. It's probably like 20 degrees out right now. Oil's looking good. That was literally the, the hardest start this car has had so far, guys. She does not like the cold. The transmission does not like the cold either, guys. It's kind of sketchy. Warming her up. Literally stuck in the driveway, guys. I don't know if you guys could see that, but 21 degrees right now. So it's really, really cold. I just got stuck in the driveway. I'm still spinning. <laughs> this is the cleanest it's gonna be all winter, guys. Once I take it out on the street today, it's gonna be grime all over it. I'm gonna try to probably wash it today too if, it's, if it warms up past like 30 something. So yeah, first thing we're doing this morning, you guys already know grabbing a Cumberland Farms coffee. Just got the combis. Guys can see, I gotta get a coffee. What's what's that? Look at, no, look at those no. diesel icicles right there. About to take me out. So yeah, I gotta get a coffee real quick cause I'm just waking up kinda tired still, so. This is why I hate black paint. Look at that. I literally had this thing on the road for like five minutes and there's already like salt residue building up, so. Today, when we get to the shop, I got to pop this cowl off the rain guard and I'm going to inspect the two sensors on the back side of the motor, see if those are the ones that are leaking oil. If they are, you know, hopefully I can fix it somehow, but we'll see what happens when we get over there. God dang, dude, that's a lot of COVID. Look at that line. Testing. Just remembered. The driveway, I don't think the driveway is plowed over here. If it's plowed, it's packed down. I think we're gonna get stuck, guys. I got Summers on the SI right now. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, the Summers are working. Spin City, dude. And it has been forever since I've been here. I'm just happy she made it up the driveway with the summer tires on. Obviously there was some spinach going on, but, but all in all, it's beautiful out. It turned out to be a really nice day. All right, so for starters, I'm just gonna remove the cowl, guys. Pretty simple to do, just take the plastic little pins out, the push pins. I always forget that I have this thing in my trunk and I always forget about it. And I'm like sitting here trying to do everything by hand, which is taking like hours when I just pull this thing out and have it done in like a second. Guys, look at all that room right there. So before I do this, this light's like shadowing again. Before I do this, I'm gonna let the header and everything cool down because the back of the motor is super freaking hot right now. So I don't wanna burn my hand or anything, but now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch you to my phone view because I have a nice light on my phone and I'll just get the video on my phone and everything. So I apologize if the quality is kind of iffy with it, but I'm letting this thing cool down right now. I'm gonna bring you guys back there on the phone. We're gonna inspect the VTEC spool valve is right on the corner here. 
right on the top of the engine and right under that is the oil presser switch so i'm going to inspect those two things along with the corner on the side of the valve cover gasket see if i can pinpoint where this thing is leaking expensive expensive oil guys can't be losing ams oil that shit's like gold you know On the corner here, let me zoom in. That's where the valve cover, there's Honda Bond right there. It actually looks like there is a little bit of oil. Looks like there's oil seeping out of that. Sticking you guys down there. Sorry for the quality. It's gonna be hard to zoom in right there but there is looks like all dried up oil I did find that there's a pocket of oil dried up oil it's kind of on the side of the motor where the uh, tensioner cover is but my theory is that the leak is coming from pretty much in between the VTEC spool and the switch like you guys stated Thanks to all you. I mean, I was going to check this anyway, but if you can see, okay, so that's square right there. So there's the switch. It's threaded into this basically square piece right here. So I just basically touched the box, that square box right there, and it's all moist, like with fresh oil. So the indication is either coming from the VTEC spool, which is draining into that pocket right there, that opening. It's kind of hard to get in there, but this is all moist right there. I don't think I have anything to be worried about. Like some of you guys even said that it's a very slight oil leak, but I want to get it like mitigated right now as soon as I found it. So I'm happy that I'm pretty sure I found the leak. I want to give a huge thanks to all you guys who recommended the two locations that you guys experience having issues, which are the VTEC solenoid and the oil pressure switch. Next oil change, I'm probably going to pull the VTEC spool valve off. Just check the gasket, make sure everything's good. There's a screen in there too. Maybe I'll check the screen. Maybe there's some type of debris that's clogging the screen. And another thing is I put my Amsoil oil filter on. I made sure it was tight and there was no, a lot of people said that there could have been like a dual gasket on basically the, the oil cooler where the oil filter sits on, but there was no gasket there because I always clean the surface off with like a paper towel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a like guys, it helps me out. You guys have been killing it with engagements and likes the last few videos and I really appreciate you for that. Kind of motivates me to put out more stuff and subscribe if you want to see more content with this car guys. I have some more plans for the new year with it. See you guys in the next video and remember, never stop wrenching. Peace out. The screen might need replacement even though it is newer. And then after that, I could probably try to take the oil switch off if I wanted to and put some new Honda Bond on it. But that'll be the last thing that I try to do because the switch is a pain to get off, guys. So yeah, that's the plan for after the holidays, guys. We'll see you then.